something that I always am looking for and only rarely can see this case was actually from a recut club. I don't think I've ever diagnosed this critter in real life. Uh, maybe you see it more often in Australia. You can see a hole coming down uh, from a tract from the epidermis down, a cystic or pseudocystic space in the dermis surrounded by granulation tissue and brisk inflammation and popped out of its little home we see a very large arthropod and it's great because look you can see once it comes into focus here you can actually see the striated skeletal muscle inside the arthropod you can see the chitin in some areas the yellow refractile chitin in its exoskeleton you can see whatever organ that is i don't know is that a gi tract i mean uh, it's like a world within a world. I, know, I always wonder what these different, and like, what are those cells? Look at that. It's a cell that's as big as a muscle fiber. Like if that were in a human and you were having it to scale, this would be like the biggest cell in the world. I, I like mesmerized by what, what, what's going on inside these um, arthropods that I see microscopically. But this large thing is so big, it's the right kind of size to be like a uh, tungiasis penetra uh, tunga penetrans, like in tungiasis, but the wrong location. That should be inside the epidermis, basically. It's way too big to be scabies. It could be a tick, but ticks wouldn't be down inside the skin. They'd be up here on the top with just the mouth parts embedded. So I feel like an arthropod, we got to use the size of the arthropod and then where it's located, plus usually a little bit of geographic uh, localization to figure out what things are common or not common in a given area where the patient's been. In this case, Case, this is uh, uh, the bot fly, and this is a bot fly larva, a maggot, if you will, uh, to make it even more creepy. And it was down in its little home, and it got taken out with a punch biopsy and removed. And so these are larval flies. The fly lays the egg, and it burrows into the skin, and then it breathes through that little breathing hole. And it's incredibly beautiful to look at and incredibly disturbing. And I hope that you enjoyed all of these cases. And uh, thanks again for inviting me. It's been a real pleasure to be here with all of you virtually.